Don't forget, July 8th, Cecil County Dragway, grudge race between the Cow Marrow and Guitarmageddon ZL1. Be there. I love doing that just because my truck has had a check engine light on because the death tank's been leaking for about a week. So, you know, a little fun fact, if your check engine light's on, your auto start will not work. First off, I'd like to start this video off by apologizing to you guys. Um, in the past, like, two weeks, I might have uploaded, like, once. Um, so I apologize, you know. I, there's no real excuse for it except for um, work, I guess, and not having the car. So a combination of the two and bad weather here in Pennsylvania, it's pretty tough, um, you know, to... Uh, every, it seems like every time I have a day off, it rains. But I'm back. Videos are going to be coming consistent. I'm going to shoot for two to three times a week. I feel like I can hammer those out. They'll be good videos. Second of all, I'd like to apologize for not wearing my RPM Motorsports hat. I can't seem to find it at this point in time. So, uh, yeah, like always, go and check RPM Motorsports out. Their link is always in the description below. Um, other than that, you know, we're going to talk today about lift or lower. I mean, whew, that's a topic right there. You know, everyone's got a lifted truck. How many people do you know that has a lower truck? And do you guys think they're dumb or not? So uh, I'm going to drive out to a little spot here. Um, I've been noticing my video editing has gotten a little lazy lately. And uh, I am trying to spice it back up again to at one point where I feel like it was good. And uh, we'll get you guys some more exciting, interesting videos. Um, because, you know, laziness is not good. I'm always striving to be better, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you like this video, like edits can be a little bit different, a little more cinematic, give it a thumbs up in the description below, or I guess it's like above the description, I'm not really sure. But uh, all right, let's get into this. guys can't tell my truck it's kind of big it's on the bigger side for a, uh, a stock truck you know the only thing that has a, it has on it are these wheels they're almost 35 so like 34.8 something inches so they're pretty big they're obviously not stock but uh, they're running out of tread I don't know if you've seen I've done a few burnouts on them and uh, they're getting pretty low and it's time to get new tires and as you guys know uh, I don't like to keep anything stock so I'm, all, I'm always searching around on what to do, what next to put on the truck. It's tough for me to upgrade the truck because I always just like messing with the car, but I feel like the truck could use some love. Now with that being said, you know, um, these stock rims, they're not bad. They're 18s though, so they're not really that cool and you know, they're alright, they get kind of dirty every once in a while and they still look pretty decent. Pennsylvania, they're just getting bugs all over the lens, get out of here. Um, so I'm looking around different rims and stuff, and depending on what rims you go with is pretty much what route you're going to take in the truck. And, uh, you know, I like the truck being the size that it is, but, you know, you either go up or you go down. You don't really stay the same. So that's what my question is, you know, do you lower it or do you lift it? Now, there's really two things that you're going to do whether you lift it or lower it. If you lift it, you know, you could put like some 20 inch rims on it, some big old tires, and, you know, call it a day. That's it. Um, we're just talking about suspension wise. Um, if you lower it, you know, you can put some baller like 24s on it, some something kind of nice, you know, nice chrome, big lip, and you could slam it to the ground. But I want to know how many how many lowered diesel trucks have you seen? I haven't seen any in person. I've seen them online, and I kind of like them. But, you know, I tow with it. So whatever I do, it can't ruin its drivability and its towing. But I like it to look good. Now, in other news, 
the first mod for the truck has been purchased, which I'm extremely excited about. I know I put the toolbox in it. I said that was a mod. That's not really a mod. That's kind of like cheating. Now, I kind of lean toward having the truck lower just because it's kind of badass. But the thing is, rims are just like expensive. You go with American Force rims, like you're out like four grand or something ridiculous, not even have a tire on it. So it's just absurd, but they look good. So as you can see, these, it's just a bigger sidewall on these tires, you know, rim, offset, everything's the same. Um, but I mean, look at all this, all this room that you could bring it down like, pow, four inches. I don't know, what do you guys think? I kind of lean towards lowering it, you know? Um, I don't think there's any YouTuber out there that has a lowered truck, a lowered, you know, any any like active YouTuber. I'm sure there's some guy on YouTube that posts a video of his lowered truck, but I'm about active YouTubers out there that have a truck that's lowered. So I don't know. It's kind of tough for me to decide. You know, I want to just be, you know, throw some 24s on it and just whip it around. Now the other thing is, you know, the front bumper being chrome it's like eh, eh. I've, I've talked to people about getting it wrapped but it's kind of tough i guess in here like in some of the creases it uh you know the wrap shows some dirt and stuff like that but you know we can live with it these mirrors on the other hand i know you guys hate those um but the first mod is ordered so you guys are just gonna have to wait and see what it is should be got should be getting put on the truck in the next week or so now my issue with jacking the truck up is that you just look like a dick half the time, at least around here in PA. Everybody that has a, a lifted diesel truck, they drive like dicks. Um, other than that, you know, it kind of ruins the drivability. It doesn't, I don't know necessarily if it like rides the same. Obviously, if you put 24s on it with a small tire, it's not gonna ride the same, but hey, it's the price you pay. I can live with that if I'm, if I'm looking like a baller, but um, I'm trying to avoid just looking like a redneck. I know it already looks like a work truck. It's got a, whoa, stay. It's got a chrome front bumper, you know, chrome toolbox and it's on stock tires so it kind of looks like a work truck right now so we're trying to get away from that um but also i'm kind of like short i don't know if you guys notice i'm sure there's some comments out there that are just like hey you're a hobbit you know i accept that um and i don't fight it you know you guys can call me a hobbit if you like I'm, i'll just own it um but i'm like five nine i'm not really that tall and i'm not trying to be that dude who has to get a ladder to climb in his truck every time uh and also my mom she's even shorter than me and uh you know i actually have a stool in the truck just in case she decides to get in thought i was kidding about the stool huh so I'm pretty tore up between, you know, what to do, what to even look at. Um, you know, do I jack it up or do I lower it? You guys tell me what you think. Um, obviously, I don't want to leave it stock. I can't leave anything stock. I had a dirt bike back in the day for like a day, threw an exhaust on that thing like first second I had it. So uh, I don't know. It's kind of tough for me to decide. So I need your help. And I'm going to start building the Duramax a little bit. Um, definitely getting deleted in the future. I already have that locked up. It's getting a 5-inch exhaust, no muffler. Uh, tuner intake and uh, I think the fuel pump to go with it um, So I'm definitely doing that without a doubt, but how do we want to make it look we want to slam it to the ground and And do it that way or we want to jack it up and, and just roll coal on people everywhere I don't know you guys tell me so comment below. I need your help. Let me know I got some shopping to do obviously, but tell me what to shop for So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, be sure to go down and subscribe. I also, I created a separate Instagram for uh, the Calmero. It's just actually Calmero. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can't not find that on uh, Instagram. So go find it. I'll put the name right here, uh, which is at Calmero. I will be exclusively car stuff. I try to post on that every day. Some of you guys follow me on my personal Instagram. I'm going to start posting more normal stuff on like normal Instagram. But uh, I want to thank you guys for all the support. Car is getting fixed up. The converter is getting shipped back. So so the Calmero it should be getting put together. Also, oh, I didn't even mention this. I ordered something for it. It's just going to make it so badass. I'm so excited. So uh, the Calmero is evolving. I apologize for the lull in videos and if these aren't exciting. But, uh, you know, tell me what to do. Should I just slam this thing on the ground or should I jack it all the way up? So I want to thank you guys for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. Oh, and uh, if you haven't already, go get you a copy of RPM Magazine. Yeah, the Calmero made the cover. I know. Get at me, right? Um... Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. Be sure to subscribe. Videos will be coming at you consistently. And uh, yeah, let's get some action to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.